All right, guys, I'm back. I'm back. Today, I want to do something a little bit different, but kind of the same. Kind of the same. I'm going to be reacting to Blink-182. I noticed that these guys were uploading music like in recent years, and I think they're even going to be coming out with something new, um, if I heard right. Now, I mentioned before that, you know, in the 90s, uh, I really listened to a lot of punk rock. Um, and then it slowed down, you know, somewhere in the 2000s-ish. I kind of just kind of lost interest with music. I still listen to music. I listen to the radio, but I wasn't buying anything. I really wasn't downloading too much, you know. But Blink-182 was always kind of one of my favorites. And now we're living in this, like environment where everybody has to step up and say something about it <laughs> they're they're asked to speak for the machine and i think like rage against the machine doesn't so much rage against the machine anymore but i think blink 182 is kind of steered clear and that's refreshing to me if that's still true and i hope Blink-182, the song Quarantine. This was uploaded about three years ago. Um, we know what was going on three years ago, as it's 2023 now. <laughs> 2020, what was, the, what was the meme? 2020 deserves a, a good, what was it? A good meme? No, a good avatar? I don't know, but it was this on the meme. And I kind of really like that because 2020 deserves a double stack. All right, so let's get into the song right now. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of excited about this. Mm. Oh yeah, I missed that. I missed that. I guess I'm blessed to be so fucking bored and hiding from this phantom attention that wants to send us to the more. <laughs> was that political i thought that things were fucked up in 2019 i thought things were okay kinda there was a lot of damn lies going on right a lot of lies uh let's go Yeah. We don't need old people. <laughs> so, first off, let me say, I'm digging this vibe of the video. It's reminding me of the old school punk I grew up with. The sound, the beat, like, damn. I've been asleep and I'm waking up. I, I love this song. I love how this sounds. I'm definitely... I mean, a 50-year-old punk rock band? Because they got to be about 50. I'm 53. I think I heard that Travis Barker was 48. Let me look. Let me check this out. Uh, how old is Travis Barker? Travis Barker is 47 years old. 47, so I'm pretty close. All right, let's get back into this. Love the video, man. This video is freaking rad. Quarantine, 
<laughs> don't kiss me on the cheek <laughs> spoken as someone who's just in the hospital with mono epstein Barr, mono like freaking a yeah quarantine is right you sort of get a new perspective on germs after dealing with something like that um but anyhow man i'll tell you what i'm a blink 182 fan i want to watch more I'm looking forward to these new songs that might be coming out. I was noticing on their channel, it looks like they have a bunch of teasers. Uh, maybe they're going to release a new album. I don't know. I'm not hip to what's going on with bands like this. I would love to, if you see this video in the comments, if you could let me know about uh, other bands like this, um, especially if they're not woke, dude. Like, I'm just not into that. I'm not, I'm not into that. So... Um, any other punk rock bands from back in the 90s or late 80s, 2000s maybe, uh, and they're doing something new today? I mean, I would love to come back and check out some 50-year-old punk rockers. So yeah, please let me know about that. But thanks for watching the video. I hope you like the song as much as I do. I don't like to relive 2020 that much unless it's from a perspective like that. So thank you guys. And uh, yeah, it says stay home. Happy Days official video. Is that another video? Maybe I'll maybe I'll take a look at another video because they're t saying hashtag stay home. Let's just peel this one back.